that the Bible has the best form of communication plan for you? Let's talk about that. So, good morning, beautiful people. Uh, it is Friday. Thank you, Lord. One of the longest weeks ever. It has. Um, so, Teacher P-Day Day. Woohoo! Good job, guys. P-Day? P-Day Day. Um, so, the best communication tool is found in the Bible. I mean, you know, people spend millions and millions and millions of dollars. How can we communicate better? Just pay me, like, half the money and I'll tell you. It's right in the Bible. The Bible has all the answers. Anyway, so in James, James is a great book. Uh, If you really want to communicate with people Mm -hmm. in and outside the church, go to the book of James. The book of James will literally help you with all communication problems, with your spouse, with your friends, with your enemies, with your children. It will help 100%. Because God's promises are never ending. Anyway, um, and they're the best. So, I haven't really seen a promise in the Bible that hasn't been correct. Like, it's 100% true. It actually, if you put it in action, it actually works. Now, the point is, you have to actually put it in action. You have to have to do it, and it's hard because you're fighting against your human nature. And this scripture actually talks about our human nature uh, fighting with our spiritual nature. Our spiritual nature can get angry about spiritual things. But our human anger usually sins, usually curses or hurts people or abuses people or gossips about people or lies about people. And our anger, our human anger, points us to sin. Our spiritual anger should be so angry about sin that we try to help people to come to Jesus, help them out of those things. And our anger should be burning on those things that God's angry about also. So here we go. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Now, when when James says, take note of this, it's kind of like, this is important. Okay, this is something like, okay, I'm going to give you a bunch of things to do, but this is probably top priority. Because if you don't do this, then most of the other stuff doesn't really matter because this is like the foundational things. So when you start reading James, this is the first chapter, and he gives you foundational things. And then if you get these right, these will be easier. Okay, so he says everyone should be quick to listen. Now, this listening is active listening. Like, you're not sitting there waiting for them to shut up so you have an answer. Active listening is really listening to them and digesting it and processing it, pausing when they're done and trying to understand, maybe even say it back to them so maybe they hear what they said and and try to really understand, not just going in with an answer or with a smart remark. I wonder where they got the active listening from. Hmm. Bible. Okay. So quick to listen, slow to speak. Not this. Not slow to speak. But wow. take your time. Pause. Think. Thank you, really speak. And then speak. A lot of times we will do it really quickly. And then we're like, ooh, we shouldn't have said that. Or ooh. That wasn't right. And we we lash out. So here we go. Quick to listen. Slow to speak. And then, after you listened and you spoke, then you're allowed slow to become angry. What do we do? We usually get angry, say something very quick, and then we listen. Then we're like, what's wrong here? Why can't we communicate? Why can't we? Because you did it the opposite way. God tells you to do it. Okay, And then it says, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. So if you want to produce righteousness, the opposite is true. Quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become angry. But if we just put anger first and we we lash out and we hurt other people by our words and by our actions, there's no righteousness. Righteousness is one of those fancy words that says right with God. So if you're right in God's eyes... When you become angry, then you've done the other two before. <clears throat> so it's okay to be angry. I mean, God got angry. Jesus went into the temple and started turning tables and say, this is a 
house of God, a house of prayer, more than, you know, cheating people out of their money. So it's okay to become spiritually angry, but it's not okay to have human anger. And that's the battle. So if we do it the right way, this is a great communication tool, quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become angry. Hopefully that helps you this Friday. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great day and a great weekend. I'll see you Sunday at 11 a.m. either live on Facebook or in person. Bring a friend. We're trying to get 100 people before the end of 2022 in person, in church, coming every Sunday. That would be awesome. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great day. Bye-bye now. Nice job. Thanks.